It was the 17th of August, 1661, and over 2,000 people were gathering at a grand banquet held in honor of King Louis XIV. Little did they know they were about to witness a tragedy that would forever change the course of culinary history. Today, we're delving into the extraordinary life and tragic demise of François Vatel, a culinary virtuoso whose legacy continues to excite our taste buds and tug at our heartstrings. So grab a seat at the table and prepare to savor every bite of this captivating tale. François Vatel, a name synonymous with culinary excellence and artistic flair. Born into a world where food was more than sustenance but a form of expression, he quickly rose through the ranks of French gastronomy, dazzling nobles and dignitaries with his extravagant feasts and culinary innovations. But Vatel's legacy extends beyond the kitchen. Did you know that he was also a master sculptor of food? That's right. Vatel's edible sculptures were the talk of the town, earning him praise and admiration from all corners of the culinary world. And who could forget Vatel's iconic creation, Crème Chantilly? Despite popular belief, Vatel was not the inventor of this delectable delicacy, but his association with the dish has cemented his place in culinary history. However, another thing he is famous for, and probably the reason why you are watching, is his demise. So, let's dive into the heart-wrenching tale of Vatel's final hours. As depicted in the eponymous 2000 film, directed by Roland Joffe, Vatel's life took a tragic turn during a grand banquet held in honor of King Louis XIV. In a cruel twist of fate, Vatel's meticulous planning was derailed by a fish delivery mishap, sending him spiraling into despair, which led to his suicide. His body was discovered by a servant, who came to inform him that the fish have finally arrived. But it wasn't just the fish that pushed Vatel over the edge, at least in Roland Joffe's depiction, it was the realization that he was nothing more than property in the eyes of the nobility. The film portrays Vatel committing suicide, a desperate act born out of disillusionment and despair. His death shocked the culinary world and left a void that could never be filled. As we reflect on François Vatel's life and legacy, it's essential to consider the complex tapestry of his story. Was he a culinary genius? whose passion and perfectionism ultimately led to his downfall, or a tragic figure crushed by the weight of societal expectations. The truth lies somewhere in between, a delicate balance of passion, perfectionism and societal pressures. Vatel's legacy serves as a cautionary tale for chefs and artists alike, reminding us of the fine line between ambition and obsession. If you found this journey through culinary history as captivating as we did, or if you want to learn what happened today in the past, consider subscribing.